Okay, this video is going to be um, how to install Windows 10 uh, on this HP Steam laptop. I think it's a 10 or 11, not too sure. Um, what you're going to need is a USB stick with Windows 10. This is one has got 64-bit on. I know I've already done it. This is it, nice and clean. The reason why I did it is because... The old Windows on there, I couldn't even do a restore. I couldn't go back to factory settings. It said not enough space. There was only I could only free up. Eight. I've tried everything from disk cleanup. I've tried absolutely everything that I could think of, and it still wouldn't do it. So I thought the only way is <clears throat> to reinstall Windows clean, take all the partitions off, and start again. So that's what I'm going to show you. What I'm going to do. So the first thing is we've got to switch the machine off totally. Power down. And then on power up, you need to press the F10 key. So power up, F10. That takes you into the BIOS. It's going to ask you if you want to exit. It's just say no to that because we're not exiting. It's just because you press the button a few times. Then you're going to go across to system configuration. You can see that. Okay. And then you want to know, no, 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 exit, it's gone too far, sorry. And then you're going to go to, where are we, um, boot options. Press that. Now in here, you must enable the legacy boot option order, which is quite straightforward. If you go to legacy support, you see I've enabled it. I'll just show you. Where are we? Okay. So if you press enter, you got disable or label, arrow up or arrow down. So we'll leave it as it is. So I just escape. So you must have that enabled. Okay. Legacy boot order. Put your USB stick in. Okay. And then you have to reboot the system. So when you will, you exit the system. So escape that. Go to exit. And then you have to save changes. And exit. Yes. Okay, so once you've made the changes in the BIOS for the USB legacy, you have to then press the when you when the machine when you exit and you reboot the laptop, what will happen is you have to press F9 on boot up. So as soon as your screen goes blank and it starts to reboot, press F9. Then you'll enter this screen. This is saying it needs permission to change what you've done in the BIOS. And for that, what you have to do then is type in 7908 and press enter. See? So it says operating system boot mode change 021. So then to, to complete the change, okay, you've got to type that number in. So you type in 7908. So here we go. Seven nine oh eight enter, and there we go. And then, what it's looking for is the boot drive, and the mine is a USB hard drive secure lock. So, I'm going to go down to that, press enter, and then she should actually boot. There you go. So, you have to wait now for the little, and some machines take longer than others, so be patient. All right. Give it a sec. Uh, and then I'll show you what I did about all the partitions. Because there was about six of a restore. There was everything on here and it just didn't work. So I tried everything. So the next option was to do this. So what you want to do then is forget the top one, United States, because you can't alter it anyway. So come down the middle one, press up one, United Kingdom. Next, install now. Come on. Start up the setting, start up. And then I'll show you how to remove the partitions. There'll probably be only two part partitions on here. There were four. 
So like I said, there was the recovery as well. Well, it just didn't work, so it was pointless. This is a a friend's machine, and we couldn't... There was Windows pre oh, Office pre-installed on it, but it was um, one that goes through Microsoft. So I'll just pause for a second while we're waiting. Okay, then you get the agreement screen, which you have to say yes to. Next. And then you go to custom install. And now on here there was four partitions. And I didn't need them. So you just delete them. Yes. And then just delete them totally. Delete. Yes. You'll have one drive left. 29 then just go next. And Windows 10 will load for you nicely. Give it a sec. And there we go. So I'll come back in a sec. Okay, so we're up to 8% now. So just to recap, um, stream, HP stream, 11 or 10 inch, well, I can't remember what it was anyway. Um, enter the BIOS, press the power on, F10. Once you're in the BIOS, you must enable the legacy for the USB. You come out, you save it. Then you press the F9 key on reboot. As it reboots, you have to put then the security code in to let you have the options to the boot, boot options. You put the code in, then you get the boot options, then you boot from the um, USB stick. Pretty straightforward. Okay, we'll just wait for this to load. Done. So it's still getting ready, nearly ready now to uh, finish off the installation of Windows. So we'll just give that a few minutes. So we're now coming up with the um, password for the Wi-Fi. Pop that in. Next. Use Express Settings. Okay, then it'll give you a welcome screen. I'll just pause for a second. We're happy you're here. So here you'll just let it run for a bit while it's getting its critical updates. Take about five or ten minutes. So I don't know if this comes on a normal Windows 10 because I work in a an environment in a school. This it belongs to one of our colleagues. So you'd probably put I own it, and you have a Microsoft account, but I'm just going to go to the school owns it. Next. I'm not going to join as a, I'm just going to join a local directory. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to join the directory. You just say you do. Put the name in. I'm just going to use Catlox DJ. And then I'm just going to go next. Welcome. Now, before this was full, there was only what we have on here 500 meg free on the hard drive. We couldn't do anything with it. So, installing it this way using the USB stick, okay, you will lose everything your pictures, your data, your um, documents, everything will go. This will be totally clean. You cannot go back to a previous version. The only, the only thing you can do is do a restore, restore point after the machine's loaded. So you've got to restore, so you can go back to a previous restore using the windows you've just put on. There is no restore point until you do that. Okay. There is no going back to a previous version. This is totally, totally clean. And there you go. Windows 10 fully loaded. And let's just see if we click on the folder down here. It'll come up if we then click on this PC. Here you'll notice 18.9 gig free. So we can zoom into that. We had 500 meg before. That's the difference. So I should pop office on and then tell the uh, person in question that her laptop is ready. Okay, if you liked the video and it was helpful, if you'd like to subscribe, share, 
like, thumbs up, or leave a comment down below, that's fine. Thanks very much indeed. Take care. Catch you in the next vid.